Uh, prepaid expenses. This is part two of a two-part series covering prepaids. If you have not watched the first video, I highly recommend going and watching the first part of prepaid expenses, which is going to cover recognizing that you have a prepaid expenses. This part two is going to cover expensing the prepaid expense. So let's go, let's pick up our example of Ravens Incorporated. To recap, Ravens Incorporated purchased a liability insurance policy on December 5th, 2021 with an effective date of January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. As of December 31st, 2021, that $12,000 prepaid insurance is sitting on our balance sheet and not our income statement. So this particular training, we're gonna take what's sitting on the balance sheet and move it over to the income statement. So let's go over how we do that. Timing is gonna play a huge factor in this situation. So January 2022, we're doing our month end close. We're gonna look at our balance sheet to see what prepaids we have sitting out there. We have this prepaid insurance policy. I made the math extremely easy for myself. $12,000, it's good for 12 months. So $12,000 divided by 12 months, you're gonna have $1,000 of insurance expense per month. So what I'm gonna do during the month end close is I'm gonna debit insurance insurance expense and credit prepaid insurance. So what I'm effectively doing is I'm taking $1,000 from my balance sheet and putting $1,000 on my income statement. And at the end of January 31st, 2022, when I look at my financial statements, I'm going to have $11,000 of prepaid insurance left and I'm going to have $1,000 of insurance expense on my income statement. So what we're going to do after that is we're going to carry that thousand dollars of expensing through the rest of the year. We're going to do it in February, March, April, May, all the way down to December. And when we look at our financials in December, what we've done is we've taken $12,000 from our balance sheet of prepaid insurance and we've moved it completely over to the income statement where it has $12,000 of insurance expense now. So our balance sheet is going to reflect zero dollars of prepaid insurance and $12,000 of insurance expense on our income statement. So that's, that's what happens with prepaids. So in, in other words, a prepaid ends, starts on your balance sheet. Their life starts on the balance sheet, but ultimately they're gonna end up on the income statement. This is applicable to all prepaid expenses. Uh, the key components they wanna look at is the time and usage. Time, how long is this particular expense good for? Or usage, have I used this expense? Uh, time is going to be my insurance policy example. Used will be like postage where as the postage gets used, it transitions from the balance sheet over to the income statement. I hope this two-part training gave you a little bit more information on prepaids, how to recognize that, and then also how to expense it once you get down to that point. If you did get something out of this, please give me a thumbs up. I hope this was helpful. And if you're interested in videos like this, please consider subscribing. And if you made it to the bitter end, thank you. I appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.